In the next hour, a senior living facility in Sandy is closing its doors and forcing residents to move out by midnight tonight. Earlier today, the state suspended the license of Mount Hood Senior Living, where dozens of people live, some of which are patients under cognitive and medical care. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11 for K2 News. I'm Barry Mangold. We've learned about the closure of Mount Hood Senior Living, and we first learned about it, rather, when the relatives of some of the residents there called us saying that their loved ones had just a few hours notice to find a new place to stay or go to a hospital. K2 received a copy of an email notice sent to families by the facility after 5 o'clock today. It said the Oregon Department of Human Services notified them today of a, over a Zoom call about the immediate suspension of the facility's license and that residents would be relocated by midnight tonight by a state team. The Oregon Department of Human Services confirmed to K2 in just the last few minutes that they suspended the facility's license because of eight different violations. The first, failing to accurately monitor a resident in the facility's secure memory care wing, resulting in their death. Last month, we reported that Ki Sun Hyun, a resident at Mount Hood Senior Living, was found dead after wandering off from the facility. Today's suspension order prompted the 50-bed facility to move every one of their residents to other centers or hospitals. Tammy Olson told us that her aunt, who has dementia, was moved to a senior living center in Oregon City from Mount Hood. She says it seems like her aunt and other residents are being treated like cattle. She's got mild dementia. She can't she can't operate a phone. So like she I can't even reach her. So I've got to try to call the after hours line that is anybody really gonna be able to answer and tell me anything? So yeah, it's it's kind of startling. And we did get the official order from DHS on why the Mount Hood Senior Living Center license was suspended. We're going to be going into that later throughout this weekend. The agency did tell us that earlier this month, Mount Hood Senior Living had to develop a safety plan. However, DHS did not provide any more details about that. We will be going more into the suspension order later this weekend. Worth noting here that yesterday, DH DHS said that the facility did fail to operate a safe environment for memory care residents in a secure unit. And we are waiting to hear back from the facility itself. We talked with the manager at the facility who did not comment tonight, saying that they are busy moving residents out to other facilities. And we are now working to find out why residents were only given a few hours notice to move out. And we're also again following up with Mount Hood Senior Living for more information from their end. DHS told us the facility does have a right to an administrative hearing before the license suspension order becomes a final order. And we are continuing to dig into this. The full list of violations listed by DHS. We're going to have more details on air and online for you this weekend. Be sure to watch our newscasts and check K2.com for the very latest.